Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I want to talk about the t-testing. So student's t-test is a, is a standard t-test for uh, small samples of observations where we want to test whether the observations that we have is significantly differ from their mean or average. So for example, uh, let's say uh, we have uh, marks of some students and which is stored in, I have already stored in test data 1 and here we have got some marks right and we have a hy hypothesis or we have a, a previous learning that for this class marks have never gone below to 70 on an as an average so we want to now test it based on the new data that we have from this new class that whether it is above 70 below to 70 or what it is so in that case let's first start with a very basic one so to to basically develop our understanding about the t-test so the command is t.test and within that you specify the data set or the vector that we have test underscore data one so if we don't specify any other argument but just specify the this data set or this vector then it basically checks it against the mean which is equal to zero so but what we wanted to test is mean when when the mean is 70 or when the average score is 70 so if the idea is that if you don't specify a mean then it checks it against the zero and it is saying it as an alternative hypothesis so if you are watching this video you must be aware about the null or, or uh, null and alternative hypothesis so what null hypothesis is that true mean is equal to zero and the alternative hypothesis is true mean is not equal to zero and when the p-value is less than 0 0.05 which is true in this case then we reject the null hypothesis and say alternative hypothesis is uh, we, we accept the alternative hypothesis which is true mean is not equal to zero now let's see how you can test it against your observation or the learning that you have so which is t dot test and the learning that we have is this class average has never gone down below to 70 so to specify the average 70 we need to specify mu parameter mu is equal to 70 now in this case uh, when we are specifying what we are saying that test it whether the average of this class is 70 or not so once I enter then we are saying we are getting the alternative hypothesis that true mean is not equal to 70 that means the null hypothesis is true mean is equal to 70 and alternative hypothesis is true mean is not equal to 70 but this is again not serving the purpose because we really want to know whether the true mean is below to 70 or greater to 70 or not so in that case let's try with another parameter which is alternative and here we say alternative and here we clearly specify what kind of test we want now since the marks that we are looking at the sample of marks that we are looking at is looking a bit concerning so the null hypothesis we want to frame is uh, definitely that true mean is equal to 70 and alternative hypothesis is true mean is less than 70 so here in this case alternative we will specify less if you are not aware about uh, what alternative hypothesis is then i would suggest that you look at the t dot test help so if i write t dot test help and here it comes the student t test and here is one parameter alternative which is saying c two sided whether we want both sided test less or greater so here in this case we want to test the less and that's what then we will specify so i am hitting the up arrow to get the previous command and i am saying alternative is equals to less so hit let's hit enter and here in this case the p value we are getting is more than 0 0.05 that means we will reject the null hypothesis that means we will accept the null hypothesis because as a general rule of thumb when the p value is 
below to point 0.05 in that case we say that there are that we want to reject the null hypothesis and accept the alternative hypothesis but when the p value is greater than 0 0.05 that means we want to accept the null hypothesis and the reason is that we are doing this test at a 95% degree of confidence interval and with the 95% of confidence interval we are saying that the margin of error is at 5% but when the margin of error is increasing which is going more than 0 0.05 then in that case we always accept the null hypothesis or or alternative we can say that there are no sufficient evidence to reject the null hypothesis that's how usually statisticians basically talk or conclude when they are accepting the null hypothesis they don't say that they accept the null hypothesis but they say there are no sufficient evidence to reject the null hypothesis so that's about the as again you can do not as but maybe greater so whether true mean is greater than 70 and get the p-value and accordingly you can decide and then you have alternative that means on the both side I'm sorry let me two-sided that's what the parameter is two dot sided and then it gives you the desired output um, now as I mentioned that we are doing this test at a 95 degree confidence level but if you want to change the confidence level then we can do this with the help of this conf dot level so for example in the last test two sided and I want to specify confidence level and I am saying that I don't want to do at 95% which is 0.95 but I want to do it at 90 90 confidence level then it gives us the result which is which is at 99 degree earlier because we did not specify so by default it takes 95 degree of confidence level now let's talk about uh, so so far we have talked about one sample test but let's talk about the two sample test so we have uh, test data one uh, for one class let's say we have another data which is test dot test underscore data two for a second class so let's create a data set here in this case i have just copied it from my sample file test data two and here is here are your observations now we have test data one and test data two and let's say we want to do a two sample test so again the command is same t dot test test underscore data one comma test underscore data two so we are just specifying two different data sets so it is saying test underscore data two all right so test dot data is what i have mentioned so now i'm when i'm doing the test it is saying it is welsh sample two sample t test and it is uh, giving us the similar kind of result like p value degree of freedom 95 degree confidence level all of that thing and then since we have not specified the mean that's why it is checking at the mean which is equal to zero so it's very same uh, similar kind of settings that you need to do whether it is one sample or two sample the only idea is this that based on the uh, ty type of samples that we have our test changes so for example mm -hmm. let's say if if there is this test data one and test data two have some sort of experiment going on for example uh, for test underscore data one there are uh, students mark uh, for which we have not given any special training or tuition and then we have just they have we have just asked them to appear in the test and uh, give the uh, and based on their test results we are evaluating the the data two which is the uh, marks for different students for whom we have given the test so in that case you know uh, these these are like a different this is a different condition right so we may want to use a different kind of a test in this case same is the uh, same is the scenario when let's say test underscore data one is a scenario where you have asked 12 students to give the test without any tuition and then for the same students you have asked them to give the test 
after taking the tuitions and then you want to know the difference so here in this case that become a paired test so if you see this paired is equals to false that's what the condition is that you are doing an experiment to see the effect of giving a tuition to the same sort of students and then evaluate the result without the tuition and with the tuition and want to test whether it significantly improves this so in such kind of a condition we do a pair test and by specifying paired is equals to true so again you get the result and it is up to your interpretation what all null and hypothesis alternative hypothesis you have mentioned but i just mentioned about uh, in which kind of a condition you will going to use the paired argument that means you are doing the uh, some sort of experiment on a similar observation to to know what is their outcome before performing an experiment and after performing an experiment so that's pretty much all i wanted to explain about the different options that you have in the t test um, there are other you know different types of test which probably i will be talking in the upcoming video and will tell you more about the testing and parameters that you need to set